Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a web application using Lyft, which is a web application framework for Scala, and the Flickr API. And uh, my mom is a wildlife photographer and traveler. She has lots of nice pictures of animals, and she's putting them on Flickr, and I'm going to write a little web application that will show her pictures with various ways of searching and presenting and so forth. So I'm going to use the Flickr API and Scala and Lyft. So here is uh, here are some of her pictures on Flickr and then this is the result. This is the little web application that shows the pictures and it's, um, it's, an, it's an experiment now. What it does is every time you reload it chooses one of her tags randomly and then displays all the pictures with that tag. So here are all the Green J pictures. Here are all the, I don't know what that is, Aberts, Toey, Rufus, Motrot. That's a pretty bird. So let's look at how this works. The Flickr services are documented very well. The first thing you do is get yourself an API key. Please don't use mine when you see it and you make various calls and I'll show you what these look like. So here is um, there, this is all done essentially with three files. This is the HTML file and this is uh, provides the content that goes in this section of the page and then Lyft does everything else. Lyft will make a navigational menu here and put the title here uh, so you might wonder what these things are. This this part in the middle is what defines the content that I made. So I have a uh, Scala class called Pictures and it has a method called List. And the List method of the Pictures class provides the... I'll show you what it provides. Let's look at the source of this. So view the page source and that method makes just this. This is a span with a bunch of image tags in it to load the images. Okay, so let's see how that works. And this is very short uh, because most of the Flickr work is done in a separate object. But let's see what this does. Um, so every time we load the page we get a new one of these pictures objects from this class and we select a tag with the get tag method from the Flickr object that I'll show you in a minute and then we get the photos and then this is rather complicated but we build the span here you recognize the span that you saw in the view source from the HTML page and um, so photos is actually a sequence that we can iterate over and we use a nice Scala uh, functional feature called map to um, pull out the bits of this that we need and uh, this stuff with backslashes is pulling XML out. Uh, so Flickr returns the information as XML and we use features of Scala to pull it out of XML. And you can find the details of that here. So let's take a look at one of these that we used. Uh, photos, search. So I used search to um, look for the all of my mom's photos with a certain tag. And this is an example of what you would get back. So the Scala code we were looking at splits this up into the bits to find out the ID and the server and the farm and so forth. So that's what this does. Now let's look at this final file and uh, again this is not all that big, this is not that complex and so I've created an object, a Scala object called Flickr and here's my mom's username and the this is what appears at the beginning of all of the um, HTML gets and my API key, don't use it please and then a method to get from Flickr and it's basically we use uh, java.net.url to open a connection 
and if everything works fine then we load the XML then we return um, an XML node object which then gets uh, split apart as you saw in the other file. So to review, my mom has nice photos they're stored on Flickr. Flickr has an API that you can use to get the photos search by tags and so forth so I've written a web application in Scala using the Lyft framework and the Flickr API and every time you reload it chooses another tag randomly and shows all the pictures with that tag.